Hey everybody, how's it going? This is Eric with One Number, and in today's uh, short Tableau-related video, I want to do something a little different. Uh, so I'll, I want to run a trivia question by you, uh, which is what percentage of the U.S. population lives in each time zone? Um, so for the purposes of our conversation here, I'm just talking about the four primary time zones, Eastern, Central, Mountain, Pacific. So let me just say this, if you don't know the answer, don't go Google it yet. Um, pause the video, I'm serious, pause the video and either jot down or just think about what you think the distribution is uh, of across those four time zones by percentage. So like, oh, 25, 25, you know, whatever, whatever you think that is. So I'm gonna give you a couple seconds to do that. All right, so I'm gonna share what my guesses were and I didn't like officialize these guesses. Um, I wish I had, but like if I was at a bar and I had five seconds to answer what I thought that breakdown would be, I think it would be something like this. Um, I would think that the Eastern time zone would be the biggest and it would be bigger than the Pacific and Central. And then those two would be kind of comparable and then mountain time would kind of bring up the rear. So 35 Eastern, 25 Central, 15 Mountain, 25 Pacific. That was kind of my guess. So I looked into this and I couldn't find the most recent up-to-date data, but I did find um, several different sources that talked about the breakdown of the population based on the 2014 census figures. And this, this is the answer, which seems crazy to me. So the Eastern time zone is almost 50% of the U.S. population. The central time zone is yet another almost 30%. So you've got almost, is that almost 80% of the population living in central or Eastern time? Uh, the mountain time is a very small percentage of the population, not even seven. And then Pacific, mostly uh, California, helping us out here, uh, would be about 16%. So I'm in Seattle, so I think that, you know, my perception of the world is skewed. I thought there was more people on the West Coast than there really is. Um, yeah, but that's uh, that's kind of interesting. So I hope this is interesting to you too. Uh, I'm going to drop uh, uh, links in the description to where I got this data. The map is courtesy of Princeton University. And then the data, it's very simple. It's just a percentage by East, uh, by time zone. Uh, but that came from a site called Metric Maps. So hope this is interesting to you. Um, and I'll also publish this workbook. So if you want to download it and kind of check out how some of this works, the labels, the colors, whatever, uh, then you can do that. So thanks for following along. And uh, yeah, we look forward to catching you on another video here soon.